Hello everyone, today I'll be playing as leader of the XCOM project with the purpose to stop the alien threat that's invading the earth. I'll be playing the long war mod, which should make the game a lot more difficult. Alright, normal, play this first. Not easy by any stretch, but somewhat tolerant of mistakes. We recommend you play normal difficulty first. Alright, so apparently this is a pretty <laughs> difficult uh, mod. Unforgivable and not particularly fair. That's funny because uh, that's how I've heard people describe this mod. Oh, different intro. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. That is not as cool as the other quote. Oh man, Nickelodeon is invading. Some powerful gack. an extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Well, humanity is fucked. Good luck, Commander. They have picked a more confusing name. It's Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within. <laughs> Whoa, a lot of nations. All right, this might take me a second. <laughs> all right, so after going through all of these options, I went with number two, <laughs> all the way back up here, Australia. All soldiers receive plus five ability points for stat rolls upon recruitment. That sounded like a pretty decent long-term bonus. And the continent bonus, which I guess I need to grab uh, Indonesia, maybe, or Malaysia or something. New Zealand, which is off the map over here somewhere, I guess. Oh, I guess that's it, whatever. Foundry projects have cash, alloy, and Illyrium cost reduced by 25%. That sounds pretty good. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, neutralize all hostile targets, locate and secure any meld canisters. All right, I played Xenonauts, so this should be fairly similar for the tactical part. Oh, the armor looks different. Strike one, this is central. You are it's all right. to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. All right, so I got a bunch of red shirts here. Hopefully they have that little uh, stat bonus too. That would help me out a lot, probably. <laughs> oh, where am I here? Okay, I guess I only get vague details of the map. 
I played like about an hour of the uh, original one because it was uh, free for this weekend. Well, it is free for this weekend. Probably not while you're watching this. <laughs> so I kind of get the basics. Oh wow, it does not let me select that spot over here. Oh, there we go. So that's perfect. I can open the door and I'm in cover. Alright, just, you know, some dude chilling. I guess he's dead. I thought that'd be something to like to capture humans, but I guess it kills them. <laughs> Not very nice. Stepping off. This actually would make a pretty decent little uh, fortification. It looks like there's a window there, but oh, it's all boarded up, so I guess I can't use it. That's a shame. Can't tell if this is a really good defensive spot or if I'm kind of locked in here. <laughs> Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. I'm sure my team would love to get their hands on that thing. What was that thing? I fought these guys before, but I don't know what that is. And I'm assuming that's one of those meld canisters, which is some later resource. Double time. Target acquired. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. <laughs> I'm kind of actually pinned down here, I guess. Uh, let's get another guy over by this On door. The Might just be shooting out of this door. I don't know if those graves are any good to hide behind or not. They might break after a shot or something. See, can they shoot over that wall? I don't think so. Can't really tell. Oh, maybe over this lower wall here? That should be terrible for cover. Double time. Oh man, it looks like I'm gonna be a shooting gallery for them though. Whatever that little drone thing is. Oh yeah, this guy can move again. I totally forgot. <laughs> At least I think I did. Eh, I don't know. I guess you can switch back between characters. Must have skipped them somehow. Watch, they're gonna throw like a grenade or something, kill all four of my guys. Okay, that's not good. He must be buffing that guy. He's got more health, too. A little trying uh, chevron thing above him. And my guys can take a hit. Sweet, miss. Oh, oh, he can just fly over. That's fair. Oh, damn. It's a resisted panic. I'm taking heavy fire over here. And apparently I'm suppressed. This is going great. <laughs> if anyone asks, they fired first. I tried peace. <laughs> oh, good. Side panic failed. Yeah, how many freaking moves do they have in Overwatch? Alright, I think that's like the counter attack, or like if they see my guy move around them. That's pretty common in these types of games. Okay, oh um, my god. I think I'm just trying to shoot this guy here. Fire, steady weapon. What does steady weapon do? Does it tell me? Overwatch, AP grenade, and hunker down. Okay, that's not a defensive thing. Oh, that's pretty good. 70% ah, chance. It doesn't explode on my guys. That's great. Okay. Their weapons appear too self this camera when goes crazy. Dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. What's up with the health circle? Oh, because she can stabilize guys. Okay. Oh, she must have a, a med kit. She can heal wounds. Uh, heal your own wound. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Uh, no targets in medkit range. Um, oh, heal yourself. That's health, right? I don't understand what the difference between white and blue health is. Um, okay, I guess... Oh, it's this guy who has the uh, medkit. I see. It's this guy who needs it. Jeez, that, that wasn't very clear to me. <laughs> Alright, let's move him up then. Got it. 
Whoa. Oh shit, the Overwatch. Oh yeah, that, that was that was smooth. Damn, my guys are really pinned down pretty well. Hey, <laughs> yeah, heal your own wound, I guess. It can only be used once, I think. That sucks. Good as new. Oh, he healed the buddy instead. Must have automatically picked someone else. Alright, um crap. He's some kind of medic, I want him alive. I don't think anyone has anything. They're all like privates or whatever. Holy crap. Um Hopefully that guy can only do his attack once. I need to start firing back. At least I got that drone. That's pretty good. Not have to worry about that guy doing anything weird. Alright, I should be able to kill him one hit if I can actually hit him. And miss. No, that is not good. Thanks. Thanks for the uh the help there, buddy. Um 45% chance. Oh come on. Get lucky. Yes! Bye bye. Alright, that's a lot better. Alright. Okay, so that's the accuracy. So oh and he's that's not too bad. 48% chance to hit that guy. I don't know why I targeted the other guy first. Oh, don't shoot through. Oh, God, I thought he was about to shoot through this guy. Adjusting sights. That would have been <laughs> really fucked up. Okay. Thankfully, the game's smarter than that. And this guy has no accuracy. I think it's because, yeah, he's got this suppressed thing on him. Is there a way to tell what that actually does? Oh, sweet. Suppressed units suffer from penalty to aim and AoE attack range. Oh, so like grenades, I guess. And if they move, they will be shot by the suppressing unit. You will see an opportunist bonus. Holy crap, suppression's awesome. Um, what, what do I do then? I can't move then. Um, I'll just do Overwatch. Yeah. Alright, actually, I got two of them in my turn. That's not too bad. Look sharp, oh, and up. three more just joined. Eh. Shot wide. She tried to get them. I figured that would be a better use than steady aim this Bring turn. I'm assuming that just gives you like a, a bonus to your aiming. I think they can only do one move a turn, at least starting out. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Ooh, whatever mind fray is, I'm glad it failed. <laughs> that does not sound good. <laughs> Jeez, there's so many of them. This is ridiculous. Oh man, this is like the like prologue-ish mission too. Man, um I haven't even gotten to the base yet. Yeah, and this camera angle is like pissing off. Maybe I should divide my guys up. But they don't seem to have any kind of grenades. I kind of have the high ground in a way, and it's definitely a nice wall. Uh, yeah, let's. What can you hit? Alright, not too accurate, but better than nothing. I should throw these grenades. I used them in the, the mission for the, uh, the original there for the free weekend, and grenade like does not have like hardly any AoE at all. It's like you gotta throw them right at the person for them to have an effect. Oh <laughs> jeez. Plenty of targets to shoot at. Might as well use this guy's grenade, he might die soon anyway. There we go. See? That looks like it'd be like the radius of the explosion, but I don't think it's gonna hit this guy at all. Let's find out. Suck on this. I should kill that guy, I would hope. I only have three health. Commander, yes. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. She's not very happy, but I want my men to actually survive this mission, so. Ah, oh, crap. I'm all right. Whew. Oh, how can he even hit me? There's a giant monument in the way. <laughs> Certainly looks a lot bigger from that angle. Oh, there we go. Now it's somewhere yellow. Yeah, let's go for it. 
Oh, 71% chance. Come on, kill him. Yes! I'm about to start keeping score. Yeah, it says alien pistols explodes into fragments. They said earlier though that happens anyway. I can still get those parts to use for research though. 67, okay, not bad. I think I just gotta just keep firing and firing and firing and kill as many of them as I can. Before they uh shoot my guys. The more I kill, the less shoot at me next turn. <laughs> Problem is this guy's got like some bonus from this guy's little, little mind meld thingy. This my guy can do four damage and it's flashing all his health though. You know, let's get this guy closer. I hate to move these guys out of their cover. Especially if there's another overwatch, but uh oh yeah, there we go. That's not a bad spot. Moving. Fifty-six. That's it. A oh, target information. Oh, cool. Chance to fire. Autopsy required. Mind merge. Receiving psionic assistance from an ally, gaining twenty-five percent critical chance, bonus will, and a temporary survivability bonus. Okay. Well, let's see if I just kill him. Ah, damn it! These guys Target's suck at hitting. Up. Like, you're right next to the guy. Are you, like, the elite of the elite? And I just got the red shirts, apparently. Everyone else was like, Psh, first contact, fuck that. The first team always dies. <laughs> Send the rookies. <laughs> and that lamppost doesn't give me any defense, I guess. <laughs> this isn't Looney Tunes. Now I guess I'll just shoot from the door. Oh, man, I just keep thinking I'm gonna get lucky in this. Maybe I should just do steady aim. I might as well go for it. Yes! Oh, it only did two damage. One defense. So the number actually lied to me? He can't have done four damage? Whatever. It's RNG. I almost kind of like when they do that because then it wastes the other guy's turn. Problem is, then I, they have more health too, though. Holy crap! Oh, at least he resists panic. He's got one health left. Sweet. I'm getting really lucky on the uh, the rolls there for those psionic attacks. Oh, man, you are one lucky motherfucker with your one health. Uh, I finally got him. Well. Alright. First casualty here. Wasn't expecting to get everyone out of here alive, but that kind of sucks. Commander. So freaking many of them. <laughs> I need to get these guys some uh, some target practice or something. They gotta train their uh, their accuracy a bit. Okay, what's up with you? Why do you have, like, a yellow shield thing going on? Oh, there we go. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just keep moving him up. You can stay next to that dead body. Does that affect her? I don't know. <laughs> See, all these shield things have, like, red. They're red. Why aren't they good defense? These should be excellent cover. Maybe, oh, because of this guy over here. Oh, I need to kill him. Yeah, there we go. Let's move up here and see if we can get a shot on this guy. I see, they're trying to flank me here. Uh, he's right next to you. How? Oh, I guess he's behind cover a little bit. That must be it. 55, come on, get him. Oh, damn it. Missed. Oh, this guy should have a good shot on. 52, you know what? Let's break out the grenades. Uh, I'll watch this be the one time it hits my guys. Oh, they're not in the radius. Should be good. Oh, I should probably try and get that meld thing, too. Kind of uh, in the middle of all the enemies, though. <laughs> yes! Maybe I should just throw grenades at everyone. This guy's almost dead, though. Can I just walk next to him and shoot him? Come on, that's gotta be 100%. On it. Yes! It's finally something that makes sense. 
Oh, maybe I should have used the pistol instead. I'm running out of ammo here. <laughs> I'm not sure how many times you can reload. I don't want to hit it in case he does just reload. I'll find out when I have to reload. Okay, uh, let's start flanking these guys. Move, move, move. They're moving to flank me. They're moving to flank me. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, this guy's panicking, or this gal. Oh, you too? Oh, shit. Oh, that's just great. My flankers are getting uh, flanked now. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, at least he's not shooting the other guys, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so when you're panicking, you're completely useless. That's, that's great. Oh, HE grenade. Alright, uh... Oh, try not to hit that meld stuff. It looks like it's destroying the uh, scenery too, that's coming up red. Not this wall though, this wall is apparently invincible. Does 3 damage, that should kill him. Oh crap, it does destroy the wall. Oh, and this wall is on fire. <laughs> Is this a Michael Bay movie? Is this wall going to explode because it's on fire? <laughs> Alright, thankfully this guy's got a buddy. He can back him up. Fortunately, the buddy's not that close. If it's only two of them left, though. Just gotta carefully uh, head up to him. Heading there now. Yeah, shot. 22%. Oh, you should probably just reload. Oh, yeah. It's probably infinite ammo. Sweet. Stop panicking now. Oh, she's back, okay. Not too bad, if I can make it out with two losses, that's not terrible. How oh, these graves actually provide some defense. Except that guy's gonna gun, gun him down. Um, Hmm. Yeah, there's not really any good way to sneak up there. Heading there now. This might be the best bet. Ah, oh, crap. Got a lot of heat on me. Nice. I don't know how they can miss those guys. Their heads are massive. <laughs> Should be like headshot constantly. A crit bonus against these guys. Ah, uh, she's got a reload, but she's got a grenade. Oh, come on! Is that not gonna hit him? Oh, let's give it a shot. Throwing grenade. Really? It like was at his feet. Oh, come on. I should have reloaded. Grenades aren't as useless as I thought they were. Probably get better ones later. Okay, what's your accuracy on this guy? 46%? Hey, might do it. Uh, although maybe we'll just wait. I'll get his uh, aim up here. Just start using that more often. I'll see what it is. It was 46% last turn, so let's see what it is next time I've got him. And uh, this guy, I'm just gonna have him like totally outflank this guy. Ten four. Oh, this is actually a small area, and no I wonder I found all the aliens fast. I wonder if I need to grab that thing too. Feel free to toss me uh, some advice in the comments here. I'm pretty new at this. <laughs> I played Xenonauts a lot, but uh, not so much XCOM. I'm gonna oh, kill this guy this turn. If he gives me another 100%. Eh, 61. I'll take it. Come on, he, come on. He's gonna hit him, right? Oh shoot! I had a grenade I could have used. Yeah. All right. One left. Oh, nice. That's affirmative. All right, I'll just use the pistol. Let's have everyone fire at him. Someone's got to hit him. 41's not terrible. Wow. All right, she's not allowed to handle guns anymore. Well, we'll give her a knife or something next time. 
Oh, he's got that steady aim. I think we're not supposed to move with that. So it went from 46 to 66, so it adds 20% chance. I guess it's sort of meant by 20 to aim. They just call the aim the, the percentage. Okay. 66, come on, get him. Nice. Bye -bye. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Sounds like a great idea. All right, 10 aliens versus six of us. Lost two guys, acceptable. <laughs> These guys should get some promotions too, so Commander they'll actually be the useful. Labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. I guess they always assume that if you beat the mission, you've got at least one soldier alive, of course. <laughs> I should have four. Oh, actually only three got it. I guess because he only did one kill. Maybe it's based on kills. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Ooh, I do want medics. Commander to the research lab. One for use of medkit permission and allows additional medkit items to be used two times per battle instead of one. Also allows restorative missed items to be used three times per battle instead of once. Right, that's good. Grenadier also sounds interesting. Two destructive grenades in a single inventory slot. And the soldier may throw grenades 20% further. I'll have to have someone do that. Medic seems pretty damn important. I want to keep my guys alive so they can actually be promoted. Oh, snazzy. No longer a red shirt. <laughs> She's fatigued for five days, though. Commander to the research labs. All right, Commander I'll get to the, to the research, research lab eventually. Specialist provides she got crucial wounded. service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. All right, high explosive rocket or suppression fire. Fires a barrage that pins down target, granting opportunist reaction fire that ignores cover against it. If it moves and imposing a 30 penalty to aim and reduced range of many area effect attacks, including grenades. Not possible with shotguns, sniper rifles, or striked rifles. Oh, jeez, give me a second to read the whole thing. Damn. <laughs> oh, this one's just got one line. Fires a high explosive rocket using the crypt launcher. Yeah, let's go with the rocket launcher. That sounds awesome. The suppression fire also sounds good. We'll have the next person do that. <laughs> the assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Commander to the research labs. Commander to Ooh, the research labs. standard shots no longer end the turn if it's taken as the first action. Oh, it has to be the first one though, okay. Running gun allows firing or overwatch after dashing on the turn. Running gun is activated. Two turn cooldown. Oh, that sounds freaking awesome. I can like flank a guy and shoot him in the back. And he gets a sh I think it's a shotgun. It's a really weird looking shotgun. <laughs> Those are some big shells. Look how big those shells are. It's like the size of his hand. <laughs> I have the graphics on high, I swear. <laughs> I guess you're usually not zoomed up too much, so they want to make them big so you can see them from uh, your sky view there. All right, and you did not level up. That's Commander too bad. To the, the recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Alright, got a bunch of stuff. Drone rack, that's cool. Oh, and meld. Oh shoot, was I supposed to click on that meld container? I totally forgot about it. I don't know if I just get it anyways, or if I'm supposed to... Oh well. What do we got here? Okay, uh, research. Get them to stop bugging me. <laughs> Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlin. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Commander to engineering. Commander. <laughs> now engineering's bugging me. Jeez. 
All right. Uh, oh, alien weaponry. Oh, that does sound good. Alien materials. Oh, I can't do that one yet. I need more stuff. That's weird. I don't have enough weapon fragments. I have enough for weaponry, but not for alien materials. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Xenobiology. Understanding of the alien uh, physiology in order to develop weapons and tactics better suited to combat them. Oh, that does sound really good. I want all of these. Materials looks like it's probably the one that leads to body armor, which I really want, but I can't do that yet. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own I guess I'm doing first, weapons. But every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Commander yeah, 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 yeah. Don't like me using explosives. All right, they're 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 all slow. Eighteen days, jeez. I think I need more scientists, probably. This is totally the base setup's totally different from Xenonauts. I have to do a Xenonauts let's play sometime once the the game is a bit more developed. Ah, Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Freaking paging Anything me every can five seconds. Up in the research labs, <laughs> we can build it here. Speaking of which, Doctor Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. All right, what can we make? Sawed-off shotgun? Really? That's real friggin' professional. Did people just add those to every game? Oh, whatever. Motion tracker. Uses radar pulses and infrared sensors to detect nearby enemies, civilians, and alien artifacts. Okay, that sounds good. Let's make a couple of those. A shiv. The super heavy infantry vehicle or shiv is an advanced Commander weapons platform. Control. Oh Commander my god. To mission control. I need to figure out how to turn that off. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, it's an advanced weapon platform, blah 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 blah. Okay, so it's like a combat robot. Any damage to it will require lengthy repairs, but it doesn't count as someone dying. So maybe it can be like tanking for my guys here. Oh, satellite's important. Alright. Let's rebuild Shiv, but I don't have one to rebuild, as far as I know. I'm probably going to want to build a satellite. Let me see if I can actually build a... Commander I have a thing for control. it. Commander to mission control. Oh god, Every member mission of the control. council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Mysterious operatives intervene in Australia's abduction crisis. That's me! Preventing further alien incursions. Alright, so what's going on here? All right, this is satellite coverage. So I've got Australia, of course. All right, so none of these other nations are down here, so I should have the Australian bonus here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, bonuses. All right, yeah, I got that plus five ability points, but didn't... To mission control. I thought I had another Commander one, to like reduced uh, foundry cost or something like that. I do not have that one. Don't need to have... Uh... Hmm, I'm not actually sure what's up with those interceptors and such. And that I think is the threat now level. You. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Uh what was that about? <laughs> I wanna do okay, what's my finances? I wanna look at that, it's kinda of boring, but okay. My income, my maintenance. Alright, so Sky Ranger, that's the transport one. Oh, I have four interceptors. I don't need to build any of those at the moment. Oh, and you actually have to pay maintenance for each thing you build? Oh, damn. Then I didn't get the one with all the access lifts, although five boxes isn't that much, or, or five secret dollars, or whatever the hell those are supposed to be. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So I make about, like, a little under 700 a month. Okay, that's not bad. Launch satellite. satellite uplink facilities I need more uplinks, okay. Capacity. Additional uplink required. All right, let's go to uh, build facilities. We still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, steam. we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. All right, so I think I need to build them close to each other. I probably want just another satellite uplink, make some more money, get that going. Although, I don't know if I can build it on top of that steam. 
Commander to mission All control. Right. Commander to mission control. With a signal monitored by a team of engineers, each satellite uplink is capable of receiving transmissions from one satellite. Alright, so it's one satellite per uplink. Oh, and plus one for every two uplinks constructed adjacent to one another. Alright, yeah, we want this. Bam. Build quickly. Oh. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Oh, needs that meld? Alright. I don't want to cost more money too. I see. Work on their way to begin construction. I'll send what do I got here? Aluminum one, alloys one, meld only one. I only get one per day. I'll have to try to actually click on those next battle. Power twenty nine out of thirty two. Oh, is this using up my new power? Shoot, I don't actually know. Uh, we should probably get another access lift and start excavating here. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Holy crap, okay, I'm coming to Mission Control. <laughs> Ooh, uh, how do I get to Mission Control? Oh, there we go. Well, what a... Why were you bugging me? What's going on? Eh, whatever. I think it just wants me to go there. 